everybody, Tabitha Thomas here and welcome to another episode of Digital Agency Insiders. I'm super excited to have you guys with us and if this is your first time listening to the podcast, I want to encourage you to go and hit that subscribe button no matter where you're listening to this podcast. Now, normally our podcast is all about me talking with digital agency owners from all across the world about how they started and grew their agency, um, what services they provide, how they're charging for it, things like that, um, just to kind of give you an inside look into all kinds of different agencies from all across the world. Now, with this COVID-19 virus that's, you know, overtaken our world right lately, um, just like everything else, we had to change and alter what we're doing on this podcast. So um, didn't want to keep doing business as usual, didn't want to keep giving you guys insights into the agencies. Not that we don't want to do that because we do want to do that, but we kind of wanted to do, twist it a little bit and make it a little bit different. And what we're doing is we're sharing some videos um, from Dr. Ben Atkins with Serial Progress Seeker, uh, which this, this uh, podcast is actually a part of Serial Progress Seeker. So we are sharing with you videos of Facebook lives, YouTube lives that he's been doing about um, what we're doing, what people need to be doing since this virus has started. And so this one is a, no different than any of the others. And what we're going to be talking about today is what you can be doing right now, especially since you're home, uh, four uncommon things that you can be doing uh, to grow your business during this crazy, crazy time. And actually during this, you're going to hear exactly what we're doing at Serial Progress Seeker. Uh, during this time as well. So uh, let's jump into that video right now. This is the Digital Agency Insiders Podcast. Inside, you'll learn how to build, grow, and scale your digital marketing agency all from the comfort of your favorite coffee shop. Let's get started with the show. Friends, how are you all today? I hope uh, you're doing well, and I hope that uh, you had a good weekend leading into this week. Boy, what a difference a couple of weeks can make in um, how we all feel and uh, how things are going. And um, number one, I wanted to say a couple key things just to get into what we're going to be talking about in the next few minutes. Uh, I've got four core things that I want to talk to you all about that um, businesses are doing right now, really smart businesses are doing that are going to make the difference for them and for their audiences. And so we're going to be going through that. That's the core topic. Behind what we've got is there's four big things that uh, we've been consulting everyone. Hey, John, what's going on? Hey, Zach, how are you? Good to see you guys. So there's four big things that we're going to be talking about that businesses that are going to thrive through all this and help who they serve, we're going to be talking about those things. So those things are coming. Um, before we get into that, though, I just want to say uh, big props to everyone out there that uh, – hey, George, what's up? Big props to everyone out there that is – doing their best right now to help other people. This is a very uh, odd thing that most of us are going through. And unfortunately, a lot of us are going through it in, in what we would consider some form of isolation. So props to you all that are being safe out there, taking care of other people um, and going through difficult things. One of the very difficult things that I had to go through is we had to do a funeral during all this. And so that was very strange to be at a funeral um, about somebody that I cared about and couldn't go hug my family. And, you know, just, just strange days that we're going through. Um, but we got through it. And it's more of just learning some new ways to tackle things. And I think that's the point of today and what I want to talk about. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you guys are busy. Uh, even if you're at home, if you're an entrepreneur and you're at home, you're still working. You're still busy. And I understand that. So I want to talk to you about these things. So there's, there's four things right now that I want to put forth to you all that are business owners, that are people that work with business owners. Maybe you're a part of a team and you've got a great business that you work with. And what do you do right now? What the heck do you do, especially if you're at home? Like if you've had to shut the business down to be safe and you're at home, or if you're at limited capacity right now and you can't be like your full strength in your business, maybe you're like a restaurant doing takeout or something like that. Um, what do you do? And so those are the things that we want to talk about. Number one, before we get into those four things, I do want to say this, things are going to get a little worse. Okay. Things are going to get a little worse, um, before they get better. And this week, especially where I'm at, um, sort of the middle of the U S we're going to start seeing our first 
real big oh my god moments uh what is happening around us things that uh, we're starting to see in some of the coast we're going to start to see encroach uh into some of the uh, other parts and so i want to prepare prepare all of you guys i'm not one to sugarcoat things i'm a very positive thinker but i'm not one to sugarcoat things and i want you guys to know that things are going to get a little bit worse and everything around you right now it, you're going to have anxiety you're going to have uh, feelings of, oh my gosh, what's happening? The stock markets, you're going to see some interesting things happen there, which could worry you if you let it. You're going to see people around you panic in certain ways if you've not already started to see that. And I just want you to know, it's okay to have some anxiety um, as long as, as long as this, as long as the anxiety does not paralyze you, okay? As long as the anxiety does not paralyze you, that's good. And here, here's where things are going to get interesting. You are going to see some panic. You are going to see some people do some strange things. But you are also going to see something that's very, very positive in the next little bit. You're going to see people around you leading and stepping up in a way that we've not seen in a very long time. Uh, no matter where you happen to be listening to me in the world, this is what you're going to start seeing. And so amongst all the craziness that's happening, just understand that you're going to see a lot of positive things come out of this too. So big thing that I want to throw your way is this. Um, I want to start off with saying, before I get into the four points, I got, I've got i been getting phone calls today. I've been talking to a lot of business owners. I've been talking to uh, over the last few weeks. And I still have people signing up to do marketing with us. Let me take a step back and, and just put a big punctuation mark on that. I have really smart business owners that are still calling me to do work with them and to take them on as clients, to help them navigate through things. And that's something that I think is extremely important. You have the news telling you all these things are shutting down, and they are. You have people doing business differently. But we have a lot of people that are seeing something happening right now, and they are doing their best. Now, let's talk about the four things. There's four big things, four big things that I want to talk to you all about today that it's sort of the uncommon thing. And I say uncommon not because... I don't think a lot of people are going to be doing this. I think that uh, the folks that are going to be succeeding are going to be doing this, but there's going to be a lot more people not doing these things. And so these are four uncommon things that businesses that are going to kick uh, kick the crap out of uh, what's happening right now, they're going to do well. This is what they're going to be doing. And I want to talk to you about this. And I, I know this because, number one, we're doing it, and I'm seeing other people doing it. So if nothing else, right now what you're going to be hearing about is my plan. What are we doing right now that is making a difference for us, but also is making a difference for some of the people that we know that are doing some of the same things. So let's talk about these four things. Number one, this is the first one, and, and this is big, and I talked to a group of people this morning, a group of business owners I got in front of, and we talked to them about this this morning, and I want to talk to you about it too. Number one is you are going to feel as a business owner that it can be scary to put out a promotion right now. It can be scary to ask for the sale. Because people you perceive are struggling and they're worried, it can be hard for that to do that. But you got to put your foot on the gas. You've got to keep pushing forward. You've got to keep with the development of business, the things that you were doing. You have to change your messaging. You have to be cognizant of what's going on around you. You have to be sensitive to people when they're going through things. But as long as you continue to try to sell your stuff in a caring way, that's big. Now, some of you can't sell the exact same stuff the same way. I'm, I'm well aware of that. But keep with me here. The thing that a lot of business owners are going through right now is they're not asking for the sale the same way that they would. They're not being as aggressive with asking for the sale because of the uncertainty that's around them. But here's what I want you to understand. When you're sitting on a plane and they're going through uh, the pre-flight stuff, what do they tell you? They tell you that before you put an oxygen mask on someone else, if there's trouble with the plane and the, the mask drop down, before you put the mask on someone else, what do they say you have to do? What do they say you have to do? Before you put, you know, before you put the mask on someone else to help them out, what must you do? And this is so important for what's going on right now. You got to put on your own mask. So here's the thing. If you stop asking for the sale, if you stop innovating, if you stop building new products that can help your customers, maybe you can't deliver a product in person, but you can deliver it like on a Facebook Live or on a, on a webinar. If you stop, here's what's going to happen. Your business is going to become weak. You are going to be weak both mentally. You're going to be weak in your bank accounts. And if your business is weak, 
it can't help anybody else. So as entrepreneurs, as business owners right now, I want you guys to understand, guys and gals, that your business has to stay strong, meaning financially strong. You've got to keep your team strong. You've got to keep everybody as strong as possible right now. You've got to keep asking for the sale. You've got to keep bringing income in when you can. You're not going to be able to do it the same ways, but you've got to keep bringing income in because if you stay strong, then you can help other people put on the oxygen mask and keep them strong, meaning your customers, but also your fellow business owners. And this is really important. This is important. When you start to feel like, oh, man, things are crazy out there, and I don't want to ask for the sale. I know this is happening to some of you. You've got to keep going because people will continue buying from you, number one, because they want your stuff. They want the sense of normalcy, even though it's not normal. But you got to understand, you've got to keep doing that so your business stays strong because if you're strong, you've got money to donate. You've got time to donate. You've got things to do that can help other people. But when we all start everything back up and, and we get the wheels turning again, you got to be strong to keep moving. So number one, point number one, businesses that are going to thrive through this, they're going to kick this thing's ass and come out even better than they were before are going to be the businesses that keep going, okay? That stay strong and keep innovating. Maybe you can't sell your product in person now. Maybe you're a chiropractor who can't open up their business right now. Well, you can get online and you can do a lot of things to still help people. You can do consults via Zoom, okay? You can do those things and you can charge people for them. And you don't have to feel guilty for charging people for your expertise and help. They don't mind paying you. But the key is, is if you don't do those things and you weaken your business because you don't call people to action, you will become weak. Your business will become weak and then you can't help anybody. Remember, as I said, point number one, you can't put on anyone else's oxygen mask if you don't have yours on first. And so keep that in mind as you're wondering and struggling whether you should ask for a sale, whether you should charge people for something right now. Remember, you've got to keep your business strong. You've got to keep your people safe because if your business is strong, you can help a lot of other people. So that's point number one. Point number two is this. As a brick and mortar business owner, what I am seeing right now is extremely promising because what's happening is my phone has actually started ringing more. I've had business owners, smart, really smart entrepreneurs that are a lot smarter than I am, have been calling me over the last few weeks and they've been talking to me about things. And here's what's interesting. The business owners that are really, really smart, this is what they're doing. They are seeing that every day in their business, they don't have enough time to build out certain sales funnels because of, they don't have time to mess with the tech. They don't have time to mess with the people that can mess with the tech. They don't have time to set up systems in their business. They don't have time to organize their laptop or organize an office. They have all of these things that they know would improve their business, but they don't have time to do them because they're busy with the normal day-to-day. -day. Well, here's the opportunity that you have. You know that if you got these things done, you built the online sales funnel for the product that you've been thinking about. You started the podcast to support that product. You did these things, whether they were perfect at first or not. But right now, while you're at home, while you're stuck and you can't make money in your traditional business or you can't make money in your traditional job, here's the interesting thing. You got a bunch of people out there that know how to do a lot of this stuff and you've actually got time to do it. And here's what's so interesting. If you get the organization done now and you get the funnels built down, you get the things that you've been putting off because you didn't have time to do it because of the day-to-day, -day, but if you do them right now when the engine starts back up full strength, your business is going to be 10 times stronger than it was before because now you have all these little systems that you were meaning to do, meaning to take care of, meaning to set up before, but you didn't because you didn't have time. Now you have the time. And this is what's happening. What I'm getting on my cell phone right now is I have businesses that maybe they're not in the office. Maybe they've let some of their staff go home because they didn't want them to all be together right now. And what happened is, is these business owners are calling me right now and saying, uh, we have time to do this right now. I have time to talk to you about it, which I never have time. What can we do to get this started? How do we get the ball rolling so that when everything starts to turn back on, we've got these tools that are here to market it. And most of it's digital marketing stuff that a lot of these businesses have been put off. Maybe, maybe you have a restaurant and the online ordering stuff, you didn't quite have it down and you never had time to really set it up. And 
it, it just didn't work out. Maybe you have something that's a, a staff system that you wanted to put your staff through and you haven't had time to sit down and organize it, but now you do. Most of the stuff that I'm doing right now in my business is both consulting and as well as setting up sales funnels so that when things really start back up, now they're going to make money for people right now, but when things really start back up, they're there. So number two is do the things right now for your business that you didn't have time for, but you're, let's say you're at home quarantined right now, or let's say you're social distancing and you're trying to stay away from folks. Use the time to do that. Now, you don't have to spend every waking moment working on your business, and please don't. That can be a temptation too. But make sure, number two, you're doing the things right now that you've put off for years. And I guarantee you, every single one of you as business owners, especially my brick-and-mortar business owners out there, that's something right now that you have struggled with. You've, you've had a list of at least five things that if you just did them, you knew you'd be good. Every one of your businesses, let me give you an idea right now, something that every single one of you can do. I want every single one of you to think of your five best customers, your five best customers right now. And this is something that is like the easiest way to make more money in a business, but nobody does it. Nobody does it because they don't have time to put it together. Here's what I want you to do. Every one of you out there has five customers that are absolutely amazing, and I guarantee you at least five, right? That you can think of at the top of your head, probably 20, 30 to 100, a lot of you, but Think about it like this. you got at least five. And right now, you could call them up on the phone and record the phone conversation. You could get them on Zoom, and you could get them to give you a testimonial. And you could record that, and you could have the audio, and that could go up in a 100 different places online, and it would help you sell more of what you do. Believe it or not, folks, yes, testimonials make a huge difference. Reviews make a huge difference. So call your 10 best customers, your five best customers up. Get them to just talk to you over the phone, talk to you on something like this. Hey, if you're a customer and you're doing a Facebook Live like I'm doing right now, post a review of something we did with you below. And, and not, I'm not asking you all to, but that's the idea. We all know that getting more testimonials from our clients and customers would be amazing, right? Would be amazing. But the ball game is we don't do it because we don't have time. We're doing the day to day. Why don't Why don't you do that now? Now's the time to start calling people up. And believe me, they they'd be happy to talk to you if they're stuck at home. So get them on the phone, get them on something like this, have them give you a testimonial. I guarantee you it'd be great. At the very least, call them up, say, would you do this? And just call my voicemail, leave it there, and we'll get it there. Those are absolutely huge. So that's number two. Right now during all this, you need to do the things that you've been putting off that you know will grow your business, but you've not had time to do. Now you got time to do it. Okay, so number three, this one is absolutely huge. I can't state this enough. Let's say you're a chiropractor or a real estate agent or you are a um, dentist or you are a restaurant owner. Why aren't you live streaming? This right here is the key. There are so many people that are at home right now that want to hear from you. They love you. They miss your restaurant. They miss your office. They miss all these things. Live stream and teach them something. As a chiropractor right now, let me just throw this out here. I'm a chiropractor. I'm not broadcasting, and my core business isn't chiropractic right now, but let me throw this out here. If you are having a tension headache because of all this and you're stressed out, here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to do. For every hour that you're sitting down, every hour that you're looking at a computer right now, I want you to take your thumbs. I want you to take them to the back of the room and point. And for every 30 minutes that you are sitting down, I want you to point like that. It's going to open your shoulders up. Point at the back of the room, just like that. Lean your head back like this. And it's going to help you. For every 30 minutes, do 30 seconds of that, and you're going to start to see huge relief with those things. Now, as a chiropractor, why wouldn't you do that? As a dentist, why wouldn't you show me things that I could do to be more... Um, sanitary to be, you know, how to disinfect things. You guys are really good at that. What are all the things that you can be doing from a webcam right now and a microphone? And listen, you don't have to like get into fancy setups, pull out your phone. It can be ugly. It should be ugly. Tape yourself. Do a Facebook Live right from the status bar. You can get in and you can actually do a Facebook Live. And one of the things is, is if you live stream right now, you will start to connect with your audience in a way that's big. And listen, if they weren't part of your audience before, trust me, if you became a weekly part of their world and you were teaching them stuff during all this that helped people get through all this, they're going to be a part of your customer base when this is all said and done. So one of the big things, number three, that I tell businesses and that we're doing hardcore is take advantage of people being stuck in their houses. They want to hear from you. Take advantage of them looking at their computers, looking at their phones, talk to them. They want to hear 
from business leaders. They want to hear from people out there that have expertise. They want help. They are there to listen. Give it to them. It's going to be a huge part of what you do. One of our core strategies all the time is live streaming, is having a weekly show that we put out. But you as a business owner, no matter what you do, should have a weekly show. You should teach me something that you do or you are an expert at. And if you can teach me those things, then I tell you what, I'm going to spend money with you. Not only will I spend money with you after this is all said and done, we get back to a little bit of normalcy. I'm going to spend money with you now. I'm still spending money online. I bet you're still spending money online. Let me see if I can knock my microphone around a little bit. That's key. If you are a chiropractor, if you are a dentist, if you are someone like a lawyer, if you're a real estate agent, you can still do consulting. Zoom consulting. Zoom is huge, guys. Everybody, guys and gals, everybody that's out there that can teach something, Zoom is huge. You can set Zoom up with something like Calendly and schedule people in. You can even charge them for those things. So here's what we do. Just right now, keep it super simple. If you want to make money with consulting and you want to help people through something, like right now, maybe you work at a bank and people are really thinking about, hey, refinancing things like that with all the things that are going on. Get on. Do a weekly show teaching people these things and say, hey, if you want to talk with me, go to this link. They go, they book a time. It automatically sets up with through Calendly. It sets up something through Zoom, which is where you'll talk to them back and forth one-on-one. -on -one. And you can even charge for it. So real simple. You've got that set up. You've got a weekly show on Facebook like this or uh, every other day, whatever you want to do. You're teaching something and you point people to that link. If they want more, they'll go pay you. Right now, bartenders, <laughs> restaurant owners, teach me how to make something. Get on, do a live, teach me how to make it. Make it ugly. It doesn't have to be great, but show me how to do something. And then, like I said, I'm going to order food from you. I've got so many big restaurants and chiropractors and dentists, folks that are doing live streams right now. It's huge. So number three is make sure you're doing live streams. Get someone from your company that can rock a live stream. Get out there and do it. There's so many opportunities if you do live streams. So that's number three. Number four, and this is probably the hardest thing for me to say to people because it's not where you want to be, but it is what it is. Most of the time, most of the time, this is key. This is key. Most of the time, uh, Jam Jamil says, yeah, Jamil, give me a second. I'll get to that question, okay? Number four, most of the time, people are focused on short-term money, meaning you're selling something right now. That's how you make your money. Um, for us, we do about 50-50. 50% of my weekly activities are generating the money that comes in that week, right? But then the other 50% is long-term audience growth. So I'm trying to reach out to new people, build my audience and start to warm them up so they can become a customer that buys from us or signs up for a membership, something like that. Right now, you're going to have to shift, especially if you've had to close down your business. So number four, you've got to shift your resources from long, sh shift your resources to long-term audience building uh, over the short-term revenue generation. So you may have to really shift it. For us, we're shifting it like this. About 30% of my time right now is short-term revenue, 70% is audience growth. How I'm going to do that, just to give you an example, because I'm big on real-world examples, not just telling you things. I've got a book coming out. So I've got a book coming out called Home Based, and this book is something that I'm not writing. It's all audio, but what we're going to do, it's all about teaching people how to do this kind of thing, how to turn your business, your expert-based business, into something that you can work from home, even through a quarantine, right? So we're putting out that book, and what we're going to do is when we put out that book here in about a week, we are going to, to get the book, the audio book. All you have to do is support the charity we've been supporting, which is something called No Kid Hungry. By the way, No Kid Hungry, go to their site, nokidhungry.org. And what they do is kids that are like home right now that wouldn't normally get a meal, a good meal at home, the only good meal they get through the week is from school. No Kid Hungry helps to feed those kids. And so what we're doing is through No Kid Hungry, if you buy our book, all the money that from the book sales goes to No Kid Hungry. And what we're doing, the whole point of that is, is not for us to make money off this book. It's to build our audience. So we're going to help a lot of people with that book because it's going to teach them something they don't know how to do. It's a skill that we have that they don't know because this is I've been doing this for almost 10 years now, making money from home. But this book is going to teach people how to do that. But at the same time, we help the charity that we want, but we're building our audience. Okay, so we're growing our audience. So less focus on immediate 
revenue generating because we won't make any money on that, but more focus on getting that out and putting it out there. And every single one of you could do that. It doesn't matter what you do. You've got something up here that you could teach me that you could put down into an audio book. And by the way, in that book, um, I'll teach you how to do that if that's something you're interested in. Um, so those are the four things. And I've got some questions. If you've got a question or you've got something specific you need help with, post it in the comments and I will answer it. Uh, but here's the four things. Number one is put your foot on the gas. If you're not asking people for the sale right now, if you're not looking for more customers, if you're not doing what you need to do, your business is going to become weak. If it becomes weak, you can't help anyone else. You've got to stay strong in your business, entrepreneurs, business owners. You've got to do that. Number two is do the things you didn't have time for before. We all have at least five things that we know will grow our business, but we just don't have time to do them because of the day-to-day. Right now, you got time. Make sure you're focusing on getting those things laid in place so that when the engine of the economy starts to fire back up and things get a little more steady and normal again, everything's going to be fine. Number three, live stream. This is so important. This is so important. Make sure you're live streaming. Make sure you're teaching things that you know how to do to people so that they remember that you're there because the folks that live stream right now and get people through this are going to be the people making the most money when people are coming out of their houses again on a regular basis. Number four, shift your resources to long-term audience building, meaning generating leads for your business. Focus on building that funnel out and a little less term on short-term income because folks are still kind of holding on to their money and it's going to get a little worse. Sorry, it is. It's going to get a little worse in the next little bit. Folks are holding on to their money a little bit more but if you're building your audience right now and you're delivering to that audience, then they're going to be ready. When it's time to spend again, they're going to spend with you. And that's super important. So those are the four things. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, I got a couple questions. Jamil says, Ben, will you give post some examples of uh, virtual bartenders, bartenders going live? Yeah, let's do this. So right now there's a couple apps out there. If you're a bartender, if you are a musician, if you are someone that can teach me something and it's kind of fun, here's what I want you to do. As a bartender, a couple nights a week, what I would do is this. I would do probably two nights a week. I would get on in something like this. And by the way, let, let's just get real here. Um, I'm not in some fancy brick wall or wood wall this is this is a i mean let's just be real let's talk about it it may look like wood but if you pay real close attention there's wrinkles in places it, it's super easy to get something like where you can stand in front of something this light that you're seeing it's one little light on me this is not an expensive setup but what you're looking at is a way for me to reach the world so bartenders here's what i want you to do Show me how to make two drinks, two fancy drinks that I wouldn't know how to make. Show me exactly how to do it. Two apps that are important, Cash App and Venmo. Maybe PayPal if you're doing some of that. Venmo and Cash App have a little sign that has your address, your Venmo, your Cash App address, and show me how to tip you. Over the last couple of weeks between musicians and bartenders that are doing this, uh, I know we've tipped well over a couple hundred dollars um, sitting at home. And I know other people are doing the same things for these musicians and bartenders. Use Venmo. Use Cash App. Show me how to make something. Show me how to play some music for me. Get out there and do. But bartenders especially, if you show me how to make some drinks, number one, I'm going to be that much more excited to come see you uh, if you're local to me. Or even if you're not local, the next time I'm in your town, I'm going to come see you because – you taught me something. If you taught me something, I am like bonded with you. Remember that. You teach someone something, even in this environment, they are bonded with you. So teach me how to make those drinks. Give me an opportunity to tip you online. I will tip you if you taught me something. A lot of people out there will. People are willing to get behind you right now if you put it out there, but you got a live stream. So Jamil, that's what I would tell people to do right now. Um, if they're bartenders, is let's put on a show. Let's do it at least once a week. Let's make a couple drinks, maybe three drinks. Have the stuff ready. Let's go through it. Show me how it's done. Put up something so that I can tip you. And after it's over, you can still share that. Remember, it's not just the live stream. It's not just the people you get on the live stream. After it's over, that thing is still out there. Ask your friends to share it with people. Give them the opportunity. You can do watch parties on Facebook. People can put you on and share it with their friend group. Ask everybody at the beginning of it to put, do a watch party. Hey, you guys like this right now? This has helped you as business owners. Share this live, this video as a watch party with your group so it can help other people. That's the same thing we would tell our bartenders to do and uh, things like that. So if you're a cook, if you are someone that cooks in a restaurant, show me how to cook something. Like 
all of those things are on the table and very, very big. So those are the four things. I hope you guys have sort of taken them. We're going to go through them again. Number one, make sure right now, if you were a business, even if you're at home right now, you got to innovate and come up with a product you can sell from home, but put your foot on the gas. You're a chiropractor. Tell me how to get rid of my headaches. Tell me how to get rid of my low back pain. Tell me how to get in better shape. If you are a bartender, put your foot on the gas. You can't serve me drinks in person. Well, that's okay. Get on here. Show me where your Venmo or your cash app address is. Make some drinks. Show me how to do it so I can do it at home while I can't come to you. Put your foot on the gas. If you are strong, if you continue to bring in income right now, you can help other people too. If you become weak because of this, because you're not acting and you're feeling sorry for yourself, it's over. It's over. You're not going to be strong enough to help yourself or anybody else. So that's number one. Number two, do things that you've been putting off. Go get the testimonials from your customers. Build the sales funnel. Things you couldn't do in the day-to-day, you got time to do them now. You've got time to work with an agency to do them right now. Listen, I got clients calling my agency like crazy right now because, because of one simple thing. Because they know now's the time to act. They know they've got the time to help oversee it. They know they've got the time to put into it. They're not worried about spending because my agency is working with people right now. So they know they're not going to have to pay so much up front. We're getting a ton of work because we're working with our clients and now they have the time to get and think about it. So if you're an entrepreneur right now, do the things that you didn't have time to do before, but you know we're going to up your business when things get back to normal. Number three, live stream, live stream, live stream. At least once a week, you should be putting on a weekly show that teaches me how to do something that's based on your expertise that maybe you would be saying in your office face-to-face with someone, but you don't have that option now. Teach me on a live stream. They're going to be ugly for the first couple of weeks that you do them. They're not going to be super pro, but people are going to respect you because you did them, and they're going to feel good because you're coming into their homes. And listen, you have the opportunity right now as a business owner to come into people's homes. And that's huge. That will never go away. That will never go away. So grab on to that. Finally, number four, shift your resources to audience building. Think about this. Maybe you can't bring in a ton of new customers right now. Maybe money is a little bit harder and it's going to get a little harder for people to come by the next little bit. But here's the thing. If you build the audience, if you entertain people, if you put people on an email list right now, you ask them, hey, opt in. Opt into this email list and I'm going to send you out cool stuff while we're all stuck at home. Be cool. Be normal about it. But audience build right now. That's huge. That's huge. You're going to see how we're doing this in the next couple of weeks. We, we do it all the time. But I'm going to be very forward with how we're doing this so that you can do it too. So audience building over short-term income generation. Maybe your sales are going to shrink for a little while. But in the meantime, you can be building an audience that when everything kicks back in, you're going to have that much bigger of an audience. And everything will equal out. Think about it. You got to suck it up for a few months because sales aren't as easy to come by, but you build this list of potential customers because you're doing things like this, live streaming, telling people to go opt in. When you get on the other side, you've got that much bigger of an audience that are going to come buy your things. So that's it. Those are the four things. You do those four things, you're going to be sitting in a much different place when all this is said and done. Listen, um, it's going to get tough. It's going to get tougher. The next couple weeks are going to be very tough for a lot of people out there. But as entrepreneurs, as people that help power the economy, we are not descendant of weak people. We are not weak people ourselves. We did not come from weak people. We help power the economy. We go through stressful stuff all the stinking time. So here's what you got to do. Do those four things. Support other people. Support the nurses. Support the people working at the grocery stores right now. Support the restaurants that are half open. Get out there. Don't be afraid to continue to spend with those people. You got to watch your income. You got to watch your output. You got to watch that. I understand that. But don't be afraid to support because the more support you give out, the more that's going to come back to you. But more importantly, The only thing that can get us is if we become paralyzed. If we get so freaked out with everything that's going on around us right now, if we get so freaked out with the change that has been so violently thrust upon many of us, if we get so torn up with all that up here, then we're in trouble. So do those four things. But more importantly than that, you keep moving that, that's going to keep your business moving forward. While you're doing that, Make sure you're getting some exercise every day. I've gotten more cardio in the last week than I have in the last two years because I know it's important to my mental health. You keep 
this, your business stuff up, you keep your head right, you keep your physical stuff right, everything's going to be good. It's going to be different. It's going to be weird. It's going to be hard. But we're going to get through it. And many of us right now are looking around saying there is opportunity. And if we keep our heads about us, we do these four things, we do them consistently, our business is going to be 10 times better than it was before. Because new conditions present opportunity. It sucks because it's not our day-to-day, but it's new opportunity. And this is an opportunity for everybody to grow. And as I said, when you grow, when you become strong as a business, you have the ability to help put some, a mask on someone else when the plane is having some trouble. And that's the key. So that's the key. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are rocking it. I'm going to try to do more of these. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Share it with somebody else that maybe needs to see this. Hit that share button. Show it with people. Um, we're not pitching anything on any of these. I have no problem asking you to share this with somebody because it's, it's all about sharing stuff that's going to help people. So share this with someone else. Also comment. If you've got a question, post it below. And if you have something specific that you're struggling with right now, or you've got a client that's struggling with something, or you've got a friend that's struggling with something in their business, uh, I may not know the answer, but I know a lot of really smart people that probably will be able to come up with the answer if the answer is not already out there somewhere. Keep in mind, we're all on the phones right now with our clients. We're all on the phones with business owners. We're talking with each other every day behind the scenes. There's a lot of really good solutions out there to people that have had their core income ripped away from them. There's a lot of solutions out there where they can do something close or something else that's not that difficult that brings income in if they're willing to make some changes. And that's what it's all about. All right, those are four things. Hopefully that helps. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Probably a little bit of a different Monday than normal, but that's okay. And like I said, in the next couple of days, we're going to start to see some scarier stuff. We're going to start to see some numbers that we don't like. It's okay. It's okay. We, we've expected this for some time now, and we're going to get through it. So that said, you guys be good. Take care of yourself. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a comment below. If this is something you think could help someone else, send it to their messenger. Share it via messenger. Share it on your page. These things are going to be extremely helpful for people. And like I said, when you get them thinking about these kinds of things, they're going to come up with good ideas too. And that's how we keep coming up and innovating. So, all right, be good. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you all soon. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video from Dr. Ben Atkins with Serial Progress Seeker. Uh, you guys learned quite a bit, the four uncommon things that businesses are going to be doing. So you learned about how to keep your business strong. You got to keep going. You got to zig when everybody else zags. Uh, you learned about spending extra time to build your business and improve your businesses. You learned about getting testimonials from your top clients and also about live streaming. So I hope that you are able to take all of these things and apply them, not just to your agency, but also encourage your clients to go out and do these things as well. So we'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Digital Agency Insiders. You've been listening to the Digital Agency Insiders Podcast. For more tutorials on growing your digital marketing agency, make sure to visit digitalagencyinsiders.com.